I'm gonna wait till there's a little bit more people here in, inside the chat. All right, so um, I've got some uh, info about uh, Canada. And um, as you guys know, it's just, we gotta stay inside. We got to stay inside. There's, um, it's just crazier than I think we think it is. Uh, I've gotten messages from a lot of different people just basically saying, you know, it's, you know, it's getting worse and getting worse. So, I mean, all we can really do is stay inside. One second. So, um, obviously, uh, you know, uh, plans for this next year are kind of like on hold, not necessarily like, I'm not saying anything about the decisions I'm deciding to have for tour or anything like that. Nothing's set in stone, but I'm just saying as of now, things are kind of uncertain in a lot of different areas you know a lot of uncertainty in life right now like a lot of people are like what's going on what's next a lot of people are getting some information not all information some people are you know more educated than others but um i don't know i think that uh you know uncertainty can cause for a lot of like anxiety and fear and what's going to happen next. Uh, what I can say is Canada, I'm home right now, uh, and I've been told that, you know, um, we need to start taking this a little bit more seriously than we're taking it. Um, again, I, I, was, I was watching, and I just actually talked to Michael Buble on the phone, and he was just talking about well, he said on his video um, or on his Instagram that someone said that uh, our grandparents were asked to fight in and asked to you know go to war, and all we're being asked to do is sit on the couch. And um, I thought that was interesting because you know we can do that as a country, as a you know as a planet, we can do that. So until we have more answers, until we have you know more stuff that. We're being told about, you know, um, fatalities and, um, you know, um, uh, you know, um, diagnosis is, uh, not diagnosis, but, um, what is it when you, um, uh, cures, I guess. Um, and so, uh, you know, the best way to just keep it you know, just keep it quarantined. Stay by yourself. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Another thing is, um, obviously, you know, um, a lot of us can have fear about what's to come. For me, um, you know, with what I believe in my faith, in my faith journey, you know, obviously, I, you know, people know that I, I believe in Jesus and I believe, um, you know, in uh, you know, forgiveness and all that sort of stuff. So I think knowing that, um, first and foremost, our, you know, my soul is taken care of, you know, I can be sick, I can be, you know, things can be going on. But at the end of the day, I know that I have an anchor for my soul. Uh, that for me gives me peace knowing that, you know, I'm not just focused on this life, but I'm actually focused on the next life, um, which is for me, I believe is heaven. So, um, not to get too deep, just saying that, you know, there is hope. And for me, that hope is in Jesus. Um, and uh, it's made it tremendously easier for me to bear um, 
you know, the what ifs and the fears of what's going on right now. Um, that being said, um, you know, obviously I'm still concerned for people and especially older people who are, you know, have compromised immune systems, especially, I mean, they're saying stuff about Lyme disease. I have Lyme disease and they're saying if you have Lyme disease, you're more susceptible to get really sick. Um, but, uh, I'm home, I'm quarantined, I'm by myself or I'm with my wife and we're just chilling, we're hanging. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, um, I'm going to go and spend some time with her, but I was going to say a quick prayer. And if you guys want to agree with me, cool. If you don't, it's also cool. You don't have to believe anything I believe to, um, you know, we have far more in common than we don't. We're all people who are in this together and we're all just trying to figure this whole thing out. So I'm going to say a prayer for the world. Um, you know, again, it doesn't make me any better because I'm praying. It just, I just think prayer makes people come together. And so I'm going to, I'm going to pray here. God, we thank you so much for this day. I thank you so much that you have everything in control. Um, you, you know the beginning from the end and you're not surprised by this whole thing that's happening. God, um, we know that these things don't come from you, um, that uh, these things are unexplainable, but God, we trust you in these times. And we just ask God that you would, um, you would make this go away as soon as possible, God. Um, and we just thank you so much for who you are. And um, we, we just ask that you would, uh, you would um, give us more answers. In your name we pray, amen. Um, we, uh, we love you. Haley's over here. She just walked in. <laughs> she, she's embarrassed. But um, uh, you guys are the best. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.